Get the newest place 400 real dumps for Microsoft Power Platform Developer. You can start your place 400 exam preparation with updated place 400 questions and answers from pass question. It can help you practice real questions and pass your Microsoft Place 400 exam successfully. Questions 1 You need to configure the system to support automation for referrals. What are two possible ways to achieve the goal? Each correct selection presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Azure function that uses the discovery service. B. Workflow extension. C. Azure function that uses a listener. D. Power automate flow. Answer. B. D. Questions 2. You are creating a new page for a Power Apps portal. You need to display data from Microsoft Dataverse on the page. What should you use? A. Liquid B. CSS C. iframe D. Bootstrap Answer. A. Questions 3. You are creating a Power Apps app that retrieves customer information from Azure Active Directory when you use the app to look up a customer record. You create an Azure function by using JSON code to retrieve the customer information. You need to make the application work. Which two actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Create a Power Automate flow to import data. B. Create a custom connector that uses the Azure function API. C. Copy your JSON code to the app. D. Create a custom connector that uses the JSON code. E. Create an API definition for the Azure function. Answer. B. E. Questions 4. A company is creating a Power Apps portal to collaborate with vendors. You need to implement custom functionality in the portal by using JavaScript code. Which two portal entities can you use? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Web pages. B. Web resources. C. Web forms. D. Entity lists. Answer. C. D. Questions 5. A customer wants to design a complex business process flow that includes six custom entities and four stages for each entity. One of the stages will have 15 steps. You need to explain the flaw in this design to the customer. What is the flaw in this design? A. The maximum number of custom entities has been exceeded. B. The maximum number of steps for a stage has been exceeded. C. The maximum number of stages for an entity has been exceeded. D. The minimum number of stages for an entity has not been met. E. The minimum number of steps for a stage has not been met. Answer. A. Question 6. A company implements Dynamics 365 sales. An email notification must be sent automatically to the sales manager when a business process completes. 
You need to ensure that emails are sent. What should you create on the process completed trigger? A. A workflow. B. An action step. C. A data step. D. A power automate flow step. Answer. A. Question 7. You need to replace the bicycle inspection forms. Which two solutions should you use? Each answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. A flow that maps inspection data to Dynamics 365 field service. B. A logic app that guides the technician through the inspection. C. A Canvas app that guides the technician through the inspection. D. A model-driven app based on customer service entities. Answer. A. D. Questions 8. A client uses a model-driven app that is deployed by using a managed solution in the production environment. The app contains only entities and UI components and has no custom code or extensions to the platform. The client needs an exact copy of the app with a different name in the production environment. You need to recreate this app in production without disrupting the end users. What should you do? A. Select the original model driven app, select edit, and then select save as. B. Create a new model driven app. Select the use existing solution to create the app checkbox, and then select the solution that contains the original app. C. Select the managed solution and select clone. D. Create a new model-driven app. Manually add each component, and then recreate its original functions. E. Add the original app to a solution. Export it as unmanaged, import it into a test environment and rename it, and then deploy it back into production. Answer. B. Questions 9. You need to ensure that users can create the required charts. Which two actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Create a quick view form to show the account's entity. B. Configure filter fields in the annual revenue field. C. Add the facility field to the account form. D. Delete the annual revenue field from the account form. E. Create a view with annual revenue sorted lowest value to highest value. Answer. B. C. Questions 10. You need to reduce response time for the information email on the website. What should you create? A. A flow that creates a SharePoint item for each email response. B. A flow that creates a notification in Microsoft Teams. C. A Power Apps app that displays the number of email received in a dashboard. D. A Logic app that moves all emails received to Azure Blob Storage. Answer. B.